All of Virgo's sun, Gemini moons, welcome to your 2023 sun moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. When you see this is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2024 sun moon readings in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format this year. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your sun moon combination, pull your main cards for the first half of the year, and take a quick look. The second portion is in the video link below, where I will have this, the, the second half of the year clarifiers for all the cards in addition to a card of advice. So Virgo, Sun, Gemini, Moons, try as you may to look cool and composed on the surface. The anxiety and nervousness that bubbles below occasionally finds its way to the surface. You are a highly intelligent being who can spot details others miss. While you are pragmatic and a planner at heart, you can be quick on your feet and adapt when the situation calls for it. The more sensitive or not receptive to your critical eyes, so be careful in your delivery of constructive criticism. The glass does not always need to be half empty, so try to develop some healthy optimism. And while you believe that your way is the perfect way, exercise a little more tolerance when it comes to others' opinions. In a relationship, you're a doer. You show your love by fussing over your lover and taking care of things that they may have overlooked. Your Gemini moon craves connection through conversation, so you need a partner that not only communicates, but on an intellectual level that is engaging. At times, your nervous energy can cause your partner um, finding difficulties relaxing. Know when you occasionally need to take it down a notch to promote harmony in the home. You typically work from behind the scenes in the workplace. While you appreciate acknowledgement, fanfare is not your thing. Regardless, you will continue to work endlessly and are considered a huge part of any organization. Not only can your colleagues rely on you getting things done, but at a faster pace than most and precisely. You work in a very structured environment and are an excellent fact finder, exercise quality control, and do well very well in areas of research, reporting, and science. So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgo, Sun, Gemini, Moons for the year 2025. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to your person, closer to the divine? Can you please show me January and February for Virgo, Sun, Gemini, Moons, please? January and February, we have the Magician card in the upright. Good, good. Um... Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer a friend in support of my efforts. That's a, excuse me. Always greatly appreciated. Knight of Pentacles in reverse for March and April. And what do you see for May and June? For Virgo, Sun, Gemini, Moons, we have the Six of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. It looks like at the beginning of the year in January and February, you pretty much prior to this, you had set your sights on something and you decided you were going to go for it. You were going to take a risk and, and, and try to do it and handle anything that kind of came along. And now you're at the phase in January and February where you're saying to yourself, okay, I'm definitely going to make this happen. And the way I'm going to make it happen or manifest this new cycle for myself is I'm going to use everything that I have available um, at anything, everything that I have available at my fingertips. So all of my resources that I have at my disposal in order to make this happen, you're going to have incredible willpower to create something, incredible creative vision. Um, you're just going to feel the master of your own puppets, actually. Um, I know that sounds weird, but, and, you know, this is going to start a new beginning that's very magical. It's kind of the magician is making the magic happen. Um, and again, using all the skills, tools, resources, anything you have um, before you to make it happen. Now, we come into um, March and April. And with the Knight of Pentacles here, this is really in reverse. This is really interesting to me because I think before you would have been overly cautious. You would have been really hesitant you would have been holding back but here I kind of see you being like a little bit lighter about it and saying hey you know what come come what may let, let's see what kind of goes on here um the knight of wand I mean the knight of coins to me in reverse you know to, he'll, he'll loosen up a little bit he won't be so as uptight as um as he was before so I mean, I think this is a really good thing. I think you're just kind of saying to yourself, hey, you know what? I'm not going to be so 
relying on perfection, so relying on things to go exactly the same way, so afraid of taking a risk. And I think you are going to be seeking out an adventure. I mean, Knight of Pentacles reverse could have negative connotations to them. I'm not getting that given the cards are around it. Um, I also think you're going to be a little bit looser with money and practical things, um, not kind of holding on to them so much um, and taking a, a risk here and there where you have to. And in April and I'm sorry, May and June, with the Six of Pentacles in the upright, I think things are working out very well for you. I think that whatever this is that you've undertaken in the beginning of the year um, is really vibing with other people. And I feel as though, um, you know, there's there's connections that you're making with people that are based on respect um, and things of that nature. I feel as though you may be connecting with colleagues or other people who really, um, you know, th think it's fantastic what you're doing and want to support it in a, a practical way. But I also think that you're actually going to be doing rather well because if you see this guy, um, here he is with this, you know, cloak on. And um, I think you're going to be doing well practically, monetarily. And I think you'll have a little bit to spare and so a little bit of generosity. I think is going to happen um, because you have not necessarily more than you need, not a huge abundance of it, but I think that um, you're going to be more sharing of what you have. You're going to be more charitable in regards to what you have instead of holding on to it. Um, so I do see loosening purse strings, believe it or not, this year, um, being more generous, more open towards people. Um, and I almost feel like it's just because you have decided you want to be a different person in 2025 is the feeling I'm getting. But that's what I have for you at this present time. If it does resonate, consider personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for um, your Vimeo reading. I will go over the... Oh, sorry, I will pull the second half of the year. I'll pull clarifiers for all of it. I also pull a card of advice for 2025. Also check out your 2024 sun moon readings, see if they rang true for you or somebody you might know. Those are still in my playlist. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Virgo sun, Gemini moons, I will see you in, the Vimeo, in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.